breathing sounds a bit heavy. That's because this tortoise just made a long journey from somewhere. I looked out our kitchen window over there and just saw him crawling along this path. It freaked me out in the best way possible. I loved it. Reed Cornish once had a pet turtle, a much smaller one. <laughs> I was like, all right, how do I freak out my mom the best? So I said, oh, Sheldon's come back. And I'm like, what? But Laura Cornish <laughs> came home to find it wasn't Sheldon, but this gentle giant that Reed nicknamed Tank the Tortoise. He seemed actually pretty happy wandering around the garden. They fashioned a makeshift enclosure Why? called Animal Control as the Wait, neighbors you began to gather. You see what you imagined a big turtle would look like? No. How's he different? Um, it's much bigger and it's much faster. Though its real name and rightful home remained a mystery, there was one thing that became increasingly clear about that tortoise. Its ancestors were not from around these parts. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, that, that is giant! <laughs> That's not a native. Not even close, it turns out. <laughs> the Peninsula Humane Society says it's an African tortoise, and that he is actually a she who's almost certainly Wait. somebody's pet. I'll worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. So, yeah. But weighing in just shy of 100 pounds. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. It took two people and a stretcher just to carry the tortoise up the driveway. All in a day's work for Animal Rescue. Team Tortoise. Team Tortoise. Who soon found out this little girl was hungry, chowing down at the shelter on lettuce and bell peppers. Oh, look! It's a domestic tortoise. There are actually several members of the community have them around here. So hopefully we can just find the owner. If not, she could go up for adoption to a family with a really big backyard. Well, you have a new pet. In Port Jonathan Bloom, ABC7 News. Oh, that was nice.